Hi teammates, here's Jeremy walking. Um, wedding crashers, Jeremy. <laughs> um, so I had a vision um, as I got home from the movie. Uh, I saw a movie with my dad called Searching. And I got home and my mom was watching um, Shape of Water on TV. And I was just kind of thinking about stuff and uh, thinking about the movie. And um, I saw out of the corner of my eye as Sally Hawkins is uh, singing. And she's mute in the movie and in the film she sings um, whenever she's uh, with the amphibian man and... Um, the alien that she that she has contact with and they fall in love and like she's singing in this scene and has her voice back and um they they're sitting at the kitchen table and i saw out of the corner of my eye no joke venom the the alien instead of being the alien was venom i saw the venom suit and I even like looked at it fully and I was like, that's Venom. That's Venom sitting right there. And it was like, it looked like Venom without anything underneath. Like how the Venom suit can walk on its own. That's how it was. It was just fully, it was, it was just a full Venom like, uh, but, but without a host is what I'm trying to say, like no host, but it was sitting upright in the chair and it was Venom for sure. And she, and the Venom was sitting across from Sally Hawkins as she sang. So I looked up amphibian man is Doug Jones and in the movie that I just saw called searching, um, they set this guy up for murder and he commits uh, suicide and his name is uh well I, I don't know his name but he um he worked construction and there's a picture of him with the detective in the movie working construction and so that's like Doug to me and Jones is um and that that was a big part of the movie too and then Jones is like um smoking weed or whatever and uh that was in the movie too. Um, that was David's brother in the movie, if you look it up, and that's Joseph Lee. And so the point is Joseph Lee, and that's like Ishmael to me when I when I was thinking about it. I'm like, that's Ishmael, or that you could say it's the ten kings. You know, you could say it's the ten princes. But Joseph's brothers, but it's also Ishmael because Ishmael sold Joseph um, when he was in the pit or whatever. It was the Ishmaelites that, that got him out and sold him or, or whatnot. So um, I thought that was really interesting. And that's that's the amphibious man is uh, Doug Jones. And I'm getting that from the movie I just saw, Searching. And, you know, it's kind of a God thing because my mom had on that movie. I didn't tell her to turn it on. And, um, so, anyway, that's that. And, uh, hi, how are you? Um, what else? I was kind of looking at, uh, Jerusalem and Zion and Zephaniah um, let not thine hands be slack and fear thou not because I was you know today I've really been thinking like uh, man I don't know if we're going to be here a while or what and you know um, the song fear by one republic is what I was thinking about when I saw fear thou not and uh they say dipped in fate and um 
I don't know, like, uh, my, my uncle Johnny, um, he, he used to dip or whatever, like, you know, the tobacco, and, uh, so, I, and, and he kind of represents, like, uh, going through the wilderness to me, because he, he, he went to the Citadel and then left a, a couple of times, and, uh, he's just always been going through the wilderness to me, like, um, like, he got out of Egypt and then hasn't found, like, uh, the, the promised land yet, you know, and it's been a really long time for him, and he's got kids and is married, so, I don't know, just some things to think about, um, you know, like, hopefully we make it out, you know, that's what I'm thinking, uh, hopefully we make it out in a, in a rapture type situation, but, I, I gotta be prepared to stay a long time though too, you know, but I mean, everyone's waking up. So, I mean, what do you think? You know, I'll let you come up with your own explanation. Thank you teammates.